Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain. Refuge Healing Church presents Watch God. Join us for the next 30 minutes as we study the Word of God. So be blessed and encouraged. And now, Inez Walker. Welcome to Watch God. We're so very glad that you tuned in today to Watch God. You must always remember that God is a present help wherever you need him at. He's never, he, he is never not there for you. Be encouraged, stay strong, hold on. Let the will of the Lord be done in your life, on your life. And stay steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord. Remember, great is he that is in you than he that is in the world. In spite of the opposition, the cares of this world, the things that's going on in the world, glory to God, the illness, the viruses, whatever life may, may be presenting to you at this time, you stand tall in the Lord. We, the Refuge Healing Church, would like to invite you to our service times each Sunday at 11 o'clock sharp. Each Sunday at 11 o'clock sharp. You must be there. We are limited. Glory to God. We still are enforcing the rules of the city, the, the, the things that they have told us to do. We are in line with them obeying them with the masses, with the gloves. So if you come, those things are necessary. If you do not have it, they are available at the church. You must understand God wants us to obey the law of the land. Not us getting in the way of the law, but getting out of the way of the law so that we can live and be obedient to God. Also, we have... Uh, Dial a prayer. Those numbers are 387-6361 or 325-7975. Again, those numbers are 387-6361 or 325-7975. Prayer ministers are standing by on Saturdays. Glory to God. To be uh, a blessing to you, to bring you to the throne room of grace knowing that God is able and he will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. We thank God for just being there for us all the time. We thank God for church on Wednesdays by phone. We appreciate God for that in Jesus' name. We also would like to say to you, be encouraged in spite of what you think things are going to be. Don't allow the cares of this world to frighten you from what God has in store for you. Stay encouraged, stay strong. Know that God is able to supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Jesus' name. I want you to know that it's a, this is the day that the Lord has made and we can rejoice, get happy in it because God is a good God and, and he makes no mistakes about what he allow us to go through as being pilgrims just passing through. You know, he gave, he gave his life that we could be saved and sanctified and understand some of the things that we need to understand. Being filled with the Spirit gives, gives you an opportunity to have a, a sneak peek of what is about to happen. Some things we know, some things we'll see, and some things will not be revealed. But to his sons and daughters, the Bible says, not Pastor Inez Walker, that he will reveal things to us. And we'll be able to help the, 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 the followers, the believers of Jesus Christ to make it through the things that they're up against at this time. Don't be weary in well-doing. Stay steadfast. Stay strong. Keep holding on. Say yes to God in spite of what it looks like. Say yes to God. God is able to do anything but fail. My Bible tells me in Luke 1 and 37, with God, one of my favorite passages of scripture, with God, nothing is impossible. When you say with God, nothing is impossible, it builds your faith with no limits. It builds your faith with no limits. 
you know that God can and he will do whatever you need him to do. He will supply all of your needs. He will bless your mind. He will bless your heart. He will bless your soul. He'll keep your family intact with each other. Let us remind ourselves to love one another. Love your enemies. Pray for them, the Bible says. Pray for your enemies. There will be people that you think that, that's uh, walking with you, and you'll find out they're walking opposite of you. One thing that I love about the Word of God, it says there's no confusion. There's no, 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 no rebellion when you're walking in the Spirit of God. What, what are you saying? Are you perfect? No, I'm not. But the Spirit of God will, will let me know when I'm walking in, in wrong standards with him. Amen? He'll do it for you too. Because we are in a fleshly body. Please don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted as y'all can say. But uh, God will let you know by the way of the Spirit that when you've taken a wrong turn or if you're turning wrong, you do have an opportunity to turn the right way and do the right thing. And I want to make you aware that God is up high looking down low. No respect of person. He don't have no respect of person. He is a God that loves us all. And it is time now for us to get excited, get involved. Don't be bewildered of what's going on in the world today, but pray for the sick. Pray for those that are not saved. Feed the hungry and the needy. And we must feed the greedy as well, but we must do our job. Stay on our assignment. Stay listed. Don't, don't, don't go AWOL, but stay listed in the army of the Lord. I want you to know that I love you. So very glad that you tuned in to watch God. Glory to God. He is a God that loves us all. And there's an old song that's been ringing in my soul. I get happy just talking about the Lord. Glory to God. We used to sing that old song years ago. I get happy when I'm talking about the Lord. I get happy. Just praising the Lord. And what we need to do like never before is start being happy. Start rejoicing. Start lifting up the name of Jesus. Start encouraging yourself. Encourage yourself to hold fast to the things of God like never before. Because he is a teacher to us. He loves us. He trains us. He helps us. Even in our infirmities, God is still helping us. So we as the believers, we as the children of God, the saints, the warriors, those that come to make up the body of believers, helping someone us, helping someone else to come over on the Lord's side. It is a blessing. Stay sharp in the spirit. People don't even don't even acknowledge anymore the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Cover us in the blood. Keep our mind in the blood. Keep our hands in the blood. Because there's things that uh, is going on in the world today. People, people are allowing themselves to be attached. I plead the blood of Jesus over you right now. That those evil spirits will detach themselves from you. That you can get on the right track and stay on the right track. In Jesus' name. I thank you for it being done right now. Let us pray. Oh, oh magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. We calling on you today, God, because we need you. We thank you for every promise that you have kept in the name of Jesus. We thank you for every instrument that you have used to allow us to go the right way. We thank you for making us children of God that we may spend eternity with you. We thank you, Lord God, as we are Christians walking by faith and loving you always. In the mighty name of Jesus, look on the sick and the shed in everywhere. We thank you for the appointment and the appointed time that you are allowing us to do a great work for you. We thank you for entrusting us with your word in the mighty name of Jesus. 
We thank you that you have made us able bodies. Guard in our hearts that we may not sin against thee. How we thank you for it being done right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's message is don't let fear stop you from dreaming. Don't let fear stop you from dreaming. Don't let fear stop your dream. Going to the book of Timothy, 2 Timothy 1 and 7, in the Bible read these words. Let's go to 6 and 7. He says, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou Stir up the gifts of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. God is saying, for this reason, I remind you to fan into flames the gifts of God which is in you. Get on fire for God. Through the land of laying on of hands for the Spirit of God has given has gave us not to make us timid, but give but gives us power, love and discipline. He wants us to be disciplined. He don't want us to be timid. He want us to know that there is no lack of confidence with what we're going through as long as we have God, the author and finisher of our faith. We need to get on fire with the gifts that God has put inside of us. They need to be developed through the laying of hands. as being instruments through whom the gifts come from the Holy Spirit to us. It's one thing we need to be serious about the confidence that we have in solving problems, serious problems, that God has given us power to do for him. Thanking God for sound teaching. Thanking God for, for, for giving us purpose by grace in Jesus' name. We want God to know that we're about doing his works in the name of Jesus. God has appointed some of us apostles, bishops, teachers, pastors, evangelists. And, and, and you must realize there's a course of suffering long in these appointed ministries that the Lord has bestowed upon our life. So don't get torn down because you're going through something. Don't throw in the towel because it seems like you're never coming out. God says whatever you do, don't you let fear make you give up on your dream your assignment, things that you're dreaming, don't let fear do it to you. Somebody say amen. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Let's go to the book of Matthew, the 8th chapter, where we're going to read a little short story. It comes out of Matthew, the 8th chapter, 23 through 27. It says, And when he was entered into the ship, his disciples followed him. And, and behold, there arose a great temperance in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the sea, and there was a great calm. But 
the men's marvel, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? We got to always know that God can calm any storm that gets in our way. With the disciples, they got into the boat, and it, God got into the boat, and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a fierce storm came up on, up on the sea so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was, was asleep, sleeping. The disciples went and woke him up saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. He replied, you of little faith. Why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the wind and the waves. And it was completely calm. God is saying to us, all you got to do is call upon me. And I'll show you great and mighty things that you know not of. They began to be amazed at God. And say, what manner of man is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. We, as his children, we should obey him. There's not a storm that comes in your life that he will not calm and calm it. Look back over your life and see how many times that the Lord has brought you peace when you was about to go to pieces. Don't let your fear, don't let your fear stop you from going in the right direction with God. Amen. Amen. We thank God all we have to do is do what God is telling us to do. Let him work through us. Let, him, let his perfect plan be worked out. Because he do have a plan for every one of us. And let it be worked out in Jesus' name. Somebody said, thank you, Lord. Glory to God. He goes on to heal men and women, boys and girls. Begin to cast out the devil. Places that he was going to so that he could help them. That they, are, that they would know that there is a God in their land. Amen. One thing about fear. Fear makes you think all, negative, all negativity outcomes. All negativity. It makes you think all negative is an outcome. It, all outcomes are negative. That's not true. You may have a negative report. It does not mean that you will never be healed. You may have a negative uh, opposition on the job. That don't mean that you're going to lose your job. So don't, don't let fear make you think everything that you go through, it would be a negative outcome. People will talk about you. Some people might not even like you. They may not even like the way you're handling your life. Trying, trying all that they can to make you weary of yourself. That it might not work. You might not get through this. You're going down the wrong road. That This is not the way God wants you to handle it. Don't let people talking get to you. Let me say that again. Don't let people talking or what they're saying get to you. They don't want you to do anything new anyway. Obey God and follow his rules. Because God got a, he got a plan. They want you to stay in the slumps. They want you to stay down. They don't want to see you up. But you have power that God has given you to overpower the cares of this world and begin to walk in the newness of Christ Jesus. That's Bible prophecy. Always keep your faith in God and keep fighting. You can't keep your faith in people because people will let you down. Keep your faith in God and God will make a clear path for you. 
All you got to do is keep fighting. Fear comes to keep you from finishing your assignment and your life dreams. Things that you've been dreaming about, the, the inserts that God has put into your spirit to make you such an awesome man or woman of God, showing you, showing you the greatness of life ahead. Don't allow fear to take that away from you. Spend much time as you can with the Lord. Studying the word of God. Love on him. Why? Because we walk by faith and not by sight. Somebody say bless the Lord. We praise and magnify God for his word that we can study it. That we can go through it and begin to comprehend that that he have assigned us to do in Jesus' name. Walking by faith and not by sight. Nugget number one, faith, fear. Fear, fear, fear is a dream killer. You get scared enough, you won't do nothing. You'll turn your back on yourself. You'll feel like fear is guided. Uh, fear has tore your spirit down, has tore your mind down have made you feel like you cannot, you cannot overcome this. Yes, you can. With the power of God, you can overcome anything. Somebody said, thank you, Lord. Because fear is a dream killer. People, fear work through people's mouth. Fear works through people's thoughts. So you gotta be, you gotta be in a safe place with God so that fear will not kill your dreams. Look at number two. Stop being weary of yourself. Stop wearying yourself with the naysayers. You worried about what people are saying. You got to get away from that. Stay on a positive note. Stay around positive, saved and sanctified Holy Ghost filled people that will build you and not tear you down. Look at number three. Give faith a try. Faith is the sums of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You can't see faith. You just got to have confidence in God that he'll bring it to pass. Give faith a try in the Lord. And keep right on working. Look at number four. Start training your mind. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Start training your mind to trust God. Taking faith steps in him. Let me say that again. Train, start training your mind to trust God and take faith steps. Faith. Faith steps in him. Look at number five, rebuke negativity, the thing that you, that you don't know, don't try to figure it out, the unknown, and failure. Just keep your trust and love and know that God got it already worked out in Jesus' name. He got it worked out in Jesus' name. No negativity. Don't worry about the unknown and rebuke failure. Somebody said, thank you, Lord. Look at number six. Stay committed. Don't give up. And you will become very successful spiritually and naturally so. But you can't allow. You got to stay committed to God. You can't go off the limb on yourself. I can do this myself. No, you can't do it yourself. You got to, you got to stay committed to God. And when things get a little shaky, you can't say, I'm going to give up. Don't give up. Because you will become successful spiritually and naturally so in Christ Jesus. Look at number seven. Look at number seven. Faith in Jesus gives you power over fear. You need to nail that. Faith in Jesus gives you me, it gives us all power over 
fear. Look at number eight. You can kill fear. It's a strong statement. You can kill fear by trusting in God with all your heart. You got to trust him with all your heart. In spite of what people are saying, that you're just doing that, that, that ain't right, that, 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 that church, the, those people, those things. No, just trust God with all your heart, and you will kill fear. And remember, faith in Jesus Christ for all of us. He give us power over fear. It's time for us to lay aside every weight and every sin that so easily beset us that get in the way, try to, try to get in our hearts and in our mind so we, that we won't trust and believe God, but to bring fear to our attention. Denounce fear and trust God like never before. Don't let fear stop you from dreaming, believing in God, believing in the things that he has put before you that they will come to pass. Don't let, your, don't let your dream die. Trust God. Get in a hurry. Plead to God. Tend to God's business and get out of other folks' business. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. And you better believe that he will calm every storm that comes in your life. Because the enemy don't want anything to be easy. He wants to rock your life. He wants to rock your dream. He wants to tear down your integrity. I'm telling you today, don't let fear stop you from obeying God, from being where you need to be in Christ Jesus. Because faith in Jesus gives us power over fear. I want you to know that God has made us disciples unto him and let us be true followers unto God. Working everything out and, and, and being strong in the Lord and obeying him in these last and evil days like never before. Keep your eyes on the sparrow because God watches over you. Great is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Let your yeas be yea and your nays be nay. I want you to know that I love you so very glad that you tuned in today to watch God. I'll see you on next Saturday. Thank you for tuning in today's program. If you would like more information or need prayer, call 318-387-6361. We invite you to join us in one of our services as listed on screen. Our church is located at 506 South 6th Street, Monroe. Thank you for watching Watch God with Inez Walker.